In today's video, I'm going to discuss the macros of getting new clients as I see them. I want you guys to remember that there's, of course, many different ways you can find new clients, but these are going to be sort of the umbrella ways we can get new clients and everything kind of does fall into these categories. I'm not a marketing major or anything. I'm just a guy who's run a photography business for a while and now feels like I'm in my later career where I feel like I can share this knowledge because I've kind of worked through a lot of it. I myself am still a work in progress, however. So when it comes to the macros, the first one I wanna talk about, which I, I pursued heavily years ago because I felt like it suited my personality, was search engine optimization. When I say it suited my personality, what I mean is I wanted to do all the hard work and then let the clients just come to me. And to a degree, it did work. Basically, search engine optimization, if you're not familiar with it, is basically optimizing your website so that when someone goes to Google and searches for your targeted key terms, you're gonna be at least on the first page. There's an old saying, you know, the second page of Google are where websites go to die. And I do think there is some truth to that. If someone's looking for a birthday party photographer, they're probably going to call the first three to five people on page one, and they're probably not even gonna look at page two. Maybe they will if all of the first three to five fall through, aren't available, et cetera. It's possible, but you're, very, you're gonna see an exponential increase in uh, inquiries if you are on that first page. Now, it is not an end-all, be-all thing. Um, there's so much more. I worked really hard to get to be number one or two. It does fluctuate. No one really typically stays at number one, but I am very consistently at about one or two. I spend a little bit more time at number two, and I've accepted that because I have also begun to target more niche terms and more so the specific types of events that I want to shoot. And I don't mean in a general sense like corporate events, which is something I do target, but even more fine-tuned than that. The pros and cons to adopting a search engine optimization strategy is that you will just get inquiries without having to do anything once you've done the hard work. You always do need to tinker and improve your website, but most of the hard work is going to come in the first few months. It also will take time. You can't make changes to your website and expect overnight for Google to really figure out what your website is about. There are ways you can expedite that, but again, this is the point about what the cons of this are. It takes a lot of time and a lot of research and learning. I mean, like basically I had to become a search engine optimization expert. I probably could do it professionally and I'm not kidding because I went that extreme and wanted to learn the ins and outs. You could just hire someone. However, I have found that a lot of these people that are selling you on their services are really only scratching the surface. It's kind of like, well, you don't know how to do it, and so it's a thing only they can do relative to like you, but what I've found is when I, I don't know if that made sense, but what I've found is that when I've talked to experts, they tended to know less than I do and was not worth pursuing. Next, we can talk about advertising. I personally have never had success in advertising. I find that a lot of it can be done for free and you should really do all this free stuff you can do prior to really going to get that extra mile maybe, um, going the paid route. The problem with a lot of the platforms that exist currently is that when they started, they made it possible for you to reach your customers without having to pay them. And then they systematically made it harder and harder and harder. I actually built my early career on Yelp. I was the, uh, someone who was very early to the party. I, I saw its potential. And for a while I had like over a hundred five-star reviews when the next person had like eight or nine at most. And I got a lot of work that way, but it got more competitive, of course, that happens. But what I noticed is that they slowly would filter me out of any search results. They will never admit it, of course, but they do. They filter you out of the results, and unless you're paying, you're not gonna reach people. And if you're thinking, okay, I'll do social media, same idea. You used to be able to reach people on Facebook, but 
If you do a post on a business page, if you don't pay, it will not reach people. I have over 5,000 people that liked my Facebook page. I get, I reach maybe two to three people when I do a post, and I'm not kidding. And one of them is always my mom, for example. <laughs> so unless like they're a mega fan of the page, like my mom, it, it's not reaching them. And so I don't think it's really viable. However, I, I am not telling you that social media is not important. It's important for other reasons. There's an expectation, like people want to be able to find you. You can use social media as like your portfolio. So while my Instagram account, I've never cared about it and nor do I now as far as gaining followers, there are some savvy people that will search for an event photographer, for example, by searching Los Angeles event photography in the Instagram tags. I have booked work that way. Not a lot, but I have booked work that way. And if you want to be successful, you really need to like, yes, all of these methods are going to work, but really you want to do as much as you can. Um, you don't really want to leave any stone unturned when it comes to getting your getting word out about your business. Okay, so yes, yeah, social media can be beneficial, but it's not gonna be beneficial in the way you expect unless a new platform comes around, and if that's the case, I recommend you get on it right away. I did predict TikTok would be huge, but I, I was like, nah, it's not for me, and do I regret it? Mm, not sometimes, but not really, because I don't think those quick short videos was really what I'm about. But if you get in early, you do have potential to grow. Next, we can talk about mailers. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, what I, I, I haven't made one in a while. I've been really busy without really doing any of this stuff. Um, so that's the weird thing. The busier you are, the less time you have for marketing. So, um, but you need to market to get busy. But I have and do do like virtual mailers. I use MailChimp. And with that, I basically am kind of just reminding people about me. I'm not getting new customers that way. I, I don't add people to my mailing list that don't know me. Usually, even if I just get an inquiry, I will add that person to my mailer. And then now, every month or so, I don't recommend doing it more than every two weeks, but I, I don't even do it every month, but I should be. But every month or so, you send out an email blast talking about like sh sharing a new portfolio, maybe you wrote a new article on your website, whatever your thing is, you gently remind them that you exist. I've done this and people have been like, oh hey, yeah, actually I have an event coming up. So it, that can serve as a reminder, but it's not really gonna get you new clients. New clients are gonna be reserved for SEO, which we talked about, and then the last one, networking. I think there's two types of networking. Um, and networking for me has been the most challenging, um, not for the reason you might think. Um, so the two types of networking would be like virtual and in person. So virtual, maybe like LinkedIn, you could even maybe argue social media is networking. It absolutely is actually. I mean, you could do cold, just like you do cold calls or used to in the past. You could do like cold DMs and DM people you wanna work with, follow people on LinkedIn that kind of thing, message people on LinkedIn that are in a position to hire a photographer and all of that stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of that kind of thing. Um, I just have to get over it. We all have things we need to get over. The more challenging one though has actually been in-person networking, which may or may not be a surprise. I don't know what people think about me really. Um, it, it, it's a surprise to me in a way because I like people. That's why I do the work I do but I really focus on the job. When I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm there, I'm present, I'm not gonna miss a moment. I don't have time for conversations or I'm just too focused to have them. But unfortunately, you have to make that first step. You can't just like go up to people, give them a business card, right? And even if you did do that, they'd be like, okay guy, you know? So having that initial conversation can lead to a lot of different types of work. People will be like, oh, you know, actually, I have to hire a photographer in that conversation, that kind of thing. And then you give a business card. Um, but what I've realized is I get very focused on the work. But the most uh, serious 
artists were not always the most successful. Networking is a huge part of what we do, and I've recognized that, so I've come up with new ways where I feel like I'll be able to do that um, without compromising in my, you know, what I deliver. And for me, that means building out a larger studio and maybe getting to a point where I'm hiring a second shooter um, for all jobs so that they can help me with sometimes content creation for my YouTube channel, or I can count on them to get shots while I'm having those conversations and more running the business, um, but still shooting the majority of the work because I love what I do, and I, 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 I'll admit, I don't trust anyone to do it as well. I trust people to do it well, but not as well as me. I'm just being honest. All right, so those are kind of the macros of what you need to do to build clients, to get new clients and that kind of thing. There's, of course, way more, um, and there's within these categories, there's a lot of things you can do that I probably didn't mention, and maybe someone might see it differently, and there might be a big macro that I missed, and if that's the case, let me know. Thank you for watching.